our 2016 Jeep Cherokee, we're doing a test fit of the Kuat Trio roof mounted bike rack. That part number is TR02. Now we already have our bike secured down. We're first going to show you how we do that and then we'll go over some features. Here in the back we have a ratcheting strap. This is going to hold our bike tire in place here at the back. And we also actually have the option to move that up and down the length of our bike rack to accommodate different bikes that we may have. At the front, we have a skewer that's going to tighten down around our forks and it's quick and easy to install. To release it, we're just going to open up that chrome side and then we'll loosen up the opposite side and we can take our bike off. With our bike out of the way, we can take a look at how everything is secured down. We'll start off in the back here. We have a bracket that holds our bike rack in place in the back and we've got two thumb screws, one for each bolt. And those will loosen and tighten around our crossbars to secure our bike rack in place back there. Now a great thing about how the back and front are mounted is that they do fit different style crossbars you may have, like our arrow ones here, or even your round square factory and elliptical. As for the front, we have two U-bolts with four hex nuts all together, two for each bolt. Now you want to make sure that the hex portion of the nut is facing up and those just feed in, thread through and you tighten down with the included tool. So this is a great aerodynamic rack. It's going to prevent a lot of wind noise and resistance. And that's going to be our completed look at the Kuat Trio roof mounted bike rack, part number TR02 on our 2016 Jeep Cherokee. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side to side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps, which we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Finally, we have the full speed bumps, where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. 